Well, the point of green bonds, or we call them climate bonds, is so that the investment is into the low carbon economy. Okay, we we need to to avoid dangerous climate change. We need investment of about ten trillion dollars by two thousand and twenty. And the only way you're going to get that sort of capital is if you get large-scale investment from institutional investors like pension funds, sovereign wealth funds, insurance companies. Right? So those investors typically invest in mostly in equity and bonds. Um, so the point of green bonds is to, is to have a vehicle so that large-scale investors can invest the sorts of amounts of money that you need into low carbon economy so you get the, the transition. So why bonds? Well bonds are very suited to certain forms of renewable energy and energy efficiency because typically renewable energy, energy efficiency, you require a, a large upfront capital you need to build the thing but then they produce a steady income with, with a low cost. So for example a wind farm you need a lot of money to build the thing but then what, once it's up and running it, it doesn't require any petrol or fuel so um, it just produces electricity and that can be used to repay the, um, uh, 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 the bond. Why you need bonds is because institutional investors are, uh, you know, they're typically, they can be worth billion, billion dollars, billions of dollars, and they can't invest in small startup companies. So you need to get the scale of investment, the kind of vehicle that they, they need. You need to have you know, large, um, uh, large, Low risk investments, which pr provide them steady returns, so that they can pay for the, pay their pensioners out of it. So, um, and the way we work at Climate Bonds Initiative is we we certify that these bonds are in fact part of the low carbon economy, and also we provide an index so that you know, if you invest in this index, that you're, you're buying into the low carbon economy. What would you say? What makes investors go for it? Um, well, at the moment, well, what makes investors well? There's historical and, and future. There are a, a group of, of captive investors, or SR, socially responsible investors, who actually haven't got much to invest in in the fixed income space. So they they will preference them. Now they are they are in money size. It's they're quite large, but compared to the mainstream investment universe, they're they're very niche. So we need to mainstream them. And if we have an index, or we have uh, that these are climate bonds. You're an investment manager. Currently, institutions invest in what exists, so they're very heavily biased to the high carbon fossil fuel economy. So, if you're an investor who happens to think that we're going to have a rapid transition to a low carbon economy, that could be for a number of reasons. It could be uh, the governments decide to impose it, but it could also be like, for example, we reached a tipping point where um, um, power from um, solar, which is essentially free, um, were undercut um, and we're almost at that point in many countries, any sunny countries, solar energy is now at what's called grid parity, it's just as cheap as fossil fuels. So investing in solar is a no-brainer but if you're an institutional investor you're, you're, you're heavily weighted to the old economy, to the fossil fuel economy so um, you can't, you, and you, there aren't these large company renewable energy solar companies, there are a few but not, not enough to absorb your, your assets so if you did get that sun transition, which can happen. It has happened in in, in the past. You will lose lots of your assets invested in big oil companies, for example, are, are are stranded. They could become worthless. So you can actually hedge by investing in climate bonds because um, it, it, you'll get a big upside if if that transition does happen. Um, alternatively, if we have an index, you can hedge against it. You can think this green stuff is rubbish, it's not going to happen, oh, so I'm going to short the index, you know, but, but hopefully that's not going to happen either. But, but having an index and an investment actually allows the investor to have that flexibility.